what is the point of sabotaging a relationship and why do narcissists do it all the time? Why are they sabotaging everything? Why, when something is going well and going good, does a narcissistic person tear it down? Let's talk about that, okay? My name is Lise Colucci, and I am here to help you understand, heal from, and transform your life after toxic relationships and narcissistic people have been in it. There's a lot of reasons that a narcissist will sabotage. Basically, what it comes down to is a narcissistic person is incapable of healthy connection and relationships. They are incapable of having empathy for the other person and connecting on a deeper and real healthy level. They do not give toward their relationships, they take from their relationships and they manipulate in order to keep you there so you continue to give. Sabotage is one of the ways. Sounds kind of contradictory, doesn't it? I mean, someone sabotaging you and you stay? Well, they're doing this in such a manipulative way that it forces argument, it forces conflict, it forces you to need from them, and it creates a situation where you're full of cognitive dissonance because they're not always doing this. Sometimes they sabotage just to keep the mask on, just to keep their ego-based, idealized version of themselves that they present to the world and try to maintain for themselves in the forefront. They will sabotage things to make sure that they always look good. Some of the ways that they might sabotage, you might have a really great time with them, be really getting along for a day, okay? And then suddenly they shut down. They go into dismissive mode. They go into denial of, of all of the good that you just had. And they will say, what, nothing's changed. And then when you interact with them about it, they will come up with the most ultimate cruelty that completely destroys your trust in the love in that relationship. It completely tears you down. They have just sabotaged the connection that was created through the pleasant and happy interactions. And they're doing this because they cannot truly relate to another person. They don't want to be vulnerable to you. They do not want to have an experience of sharing. They don't want to give to you, not really. What they want to give is basically what they're putting in so that they can get back. They don't want to just wholeheartedly be with another human being. They want to take from another human being. And so if it gets close at all, that avoidance will slam it down and they will attack, they will shut down, okay, in order to sabotage everything that just took place. Sometimes to sabotage things, a narcissist will very deliberately reveal your secrets to other people or reveal your private information that you've shared with them to others. They will often do this like in a family. This is a big deal in a family. Well, they will, you will entrust them with something and it can be really even not a big deal, but you don't, it's not something you're telling to everyone. And you even tell them, hey, I'm only sharing this with you or I'm not really telling a whole lot of people about this yet. They will deliberately share your information with everyone that will listen and gossip about you and talk about it and it'll get back to you. And you'll think, why did I trust them yet again? Have you had that happen? Let me know in the comments. Another way that they sabotage things is to just destroy your property, to destroy your belongings, to lose things, to hide things. A narcissist will sabotage relationships by cheating. That's a really basic way to completely destroy you, right? To break all trust and to create a sense of betrayal. Now, why would someone want to do that in a relationship? We need to have a video on why narcissists cheat really soon, don't you think? Another thing that they do in relationships is future fake. I just talked about future faking last week, so go back and watch last week's video on future faking for more information about the whole process and why they do it, okay? But when they're future faking, they're sabotaging trust. They're sabotaging the relationship. They are setting up a situation that's supposed to happen and then taking it away. And that sabotage creates all kinds of confusion in your head, okay? It keeps you wanting the thing you wish you could have had and thinking it's your fault that you're not getting it. A narcissist will withhold and hide information from you in order to sabotage things. They are deliberately not being inclusive because they don't have the deep connection with you, okay? They don't share the empathy. They do not have the object permanence of a person being in your world 100% 
as your partner, as your mother, as your father, okay? What they have is a second you're away, the second they're focused on something else, you don't exist. Or you exist as an object in their life that they can come back and toy with later. A lot of times they just won't give you a direct answer. They will give you these vague sort of non-answers sort of a wishy-washy reply or a, you know, have you had that happen? Do you know what I'm talking about here? Because that is sabotaging the connection, the communication, and it's a form of sort of gaslighting you into saying your point over and over and over again or asking a question over and over and over again. And then what happens is they will say, why are you, why are you coming after me like this? Why are you always on and on about this? And then you feel all kinds of things about yourself that aren't necessary because they're not actually happening. And the narcissist gets away with not talking about whatever the topic was. The vague information keeps them in a place of plausible deniability so they can say, well, I never said that. Well, that didn't really, that's, that's not what we talked about when it's very clearly what you talked about. So two more here, they change plans. They will just change the plans last minute or they will sabotage time. And the most popular and talked about way that a narcissist sabotages is they ruin occasions, holidays, birthdays, whatever it is, they will ruin it. They will have temper tantrums. They will start arguments, pick fights, create situations where you feel bad about yourself, make it seem like they're gonna abandon you, anything to destroy the happiness and the joy in that occasion. If you're dealing with this and you need help and you need coaching, if you're dealing with this and you need coaching help, check out the information in the description of every video. There's information on coaching, group coaching, and peer support there. So please, if you need information, check it out. And also watch some of the other videos on this channel for all kinds of information on how narcissists behave and how to heal from toxic relationships. And I will be back next time. You guys, thumbs up and subscribe. Bye-bye.